What's up, y'all? I got a real quick line review today. Um, this is the Jedi X14 uh, line for the T-Mobile version of the Galaxy Note 2. Um, real quick, I just want to show y'all a couple things about this rhyme. Uh, first of all, it's super fast. Super fast. Based off of the latest version of 4.1.2. Um, comes with Saber Kernel. Um, which also comes with Trister Mod. Um, this app right here allows you to overclock. Well, the kind of allows you to overclock, but uh, this app right here makes it no need for no set CPU or CPU tuner or anything like that. Um, you can overclock this to 1.9 gigahertz. But I'm actually running mines at 1.6. Um, it still runs super fast. Um, comes with 4.2 camera and it comes with the stock camera um this, this uh this ROM installs with a ROM installer um I actually picked the S4 theme uh, as you can see uh, I got a transparent status bar my settings have got a white background uh this ROM is super fast 23 toggles um comes with multi window for all apps and that's a plus for me Multi window for all apps. I love that shit. Um, real nice. Uh, yeah. So let me go into the settings and show y'all some some of the settings. Um, some through toggle settings allows you to pick uh, whatever buttons you want as, up at your toggles. Uh, you can rearrange the order if you want to. Um, custom ink color. With the ink, you get the ink effect on the watch screen, you know. Show you all that real quick. So, yeah, nice. Um, custom framework installer. Now, this is if you want the uh, exposed app settings, uh, which will allow you to uh, put some of your apps in tablet mode or phone mode or tablet mode or well, however you want to do that. First, you gotta install the framework. You press install update. Then you go to modules and you check that off. And then you reboot your phone. And then that should be all good to go. Uh, it comes with Pi launch controls, you know, LMT launcher. Uh, that's really nice. Um, and icon switcher. Now, I like this app right here. I like this setting because, now let me uh, give you an example. Say if I want to add this messaging app to my to my home page. So I would go in there. Settings, should I run tricks, icon changer. I could change the color of any app that I want. So say if I go to messaging, I go to decorate colors. Now you got options of brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, and color temperature. Now I particularly particularly would use the hue setting because you can see the color of the, the envelope is changing. So if I wanted it blue like that, all I gotta do is press OK. Press OK. Wait till that bar loads up. Shortcut messaging created. So now if I go find it. See how it looks now. Yeah, so that's real nice. I did a couple of my apps like that already, like the camera app, music player, kick messenger, insta follow. Um yeah, but this round is real nice, super fast. Um you don't even have to overclock it. I mean, overclocking is not even necessary. You can if you want your phone to run uh, super fast, but uh, this one already is super fast. Uh, when, while in the ROM installer, you know, you can install a couple uh, different things, but like I said, I chose the S4 thing because I wanted to, I was more curious about that one. Um, you can install different apps uh, like the 4.2 camera, um, the 4.2 keyboard. But yeah, y'all should install this ROM. Like I said, this is for the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2. Install this ROM. Let me know what y'all think about it. And, um, you know, leave comments in the comment section. I want to hear y'all feedback. Y'all send me uh, messages in my inbox. Um, anything. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'll have links. Uh, also, you hear that sound when you pull out the SPN. It's a Jedi thing. I like that. Real nice. So, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this rhyming. Uh, holla at me. I'm out.